guys so today i'm showing you how to do this carnage look i created years ago i did um venom a couple years ago and now the new movie's coming out i was like let me do carnage back then i was actually asked to do carnage after i did venom but i was just like i said yes forgot about it but i was like perfect time to come back with it right why not so if you want to know how I did this transformation, just keep watching because this was work. Just keep watching. I'm going to attempt to cover my eyebrows. I'm always very bad at this, but I'm going to try anyways. mad lifted put powder on it the powder i'm using for today is translucent because i'm gonna be painted so um this is the ciati london what is it extraordinary translucent powder let it sit and do the same thing to the other brow I'm going to do the outlining. I prefer white because it's easier to erase and fix than doing black and then coloring it in. So for um, Carnage, he's similar to Venom, but his is a little more rounder when it comes to his eyes. But and also like his tongue isn't sticking out. He had it's more about his teeth, which we're going to eventually add. Watch. But before I, you know, do everything else on my face, I'm gonna go around. Charles palette I'm going to go into the red eyeshadow and set the red part before I continue to the next part I'm going to take a little bit of translucent powder and just brush that on too because so I can set it more now I'm continuing to the next part and I'm going to do the red down here the red eyeshadow and just setting it all and blending it in so before um i get to the next part the thing with carnage is he has like black um he has black lines everywhere like if like because i think he does come from venom i'm trying to remember parts of venom basically when it's carn like you know on carnage like you know how venom is all black but like stretchy like those lines do appear on him so i am going to mix a it's like a purple and a black 
because I don't want it to be too black. And I'm going to start making like lines everywhere because it's not supposed to be completely just like a solid red. It's more black like shadowing around the eyes and the mouth area so after this you'll see what we'll do so we're going to still continue the lines just all over in different ways translucent powder on my face and then I'm going to do the same thing to my body the thing I like is when you put translucent on it since it mats it up and it does I'm not gonna lie spreads it a little it does make it look a little more real than too harsh as it was before so I actually like setting it Even though you should set it so it won't smudge. Because this isn't regular face paint that dries. This is when I, you know, this is more cream. But I kind of like it better because I feel like they're easier to work with. Um, My Venom video was actually all um Anastasia, was all creams from my Anastasia lip palette. I didn't use anything that was considered face paint or face oil. I literally used a whole cream palette for my face so being that this is like similar to it i actually prefer it because i had to get rid of the palette because it was dumb full it was dumb full and she stopped making them i don't know why now for the shading going to go in with black and we're going to start blending this out around the eye and if you feel there's parts we can't get into, we're going to grab a smaller brush for that. photo the more I notice things so if you ever do this don't think oh my gosh I'm just gonna cover myself red no do the details do the details so I'm go up a little up, up, up. and then I'm gonna cover this whole thing here in black there you go so we can't cover the nostrils because <laughs> I looked at the picture and I was just like oh my gosh and then we're gonna blend out blend out see i'm flicking it out do that thank you know we're contouring and highlighting like that With yellow and make it a little more darker because it's not like it's a pure white and I feel like it's too light there we go now I'm going to actually gonna set it with um white and beige eyeshadow mixed I'm going to put white eyeliner on. This is also waterproof. Taking the spoolie that wasn't used for the brow. This is another one, a fresh one. I'm going to go into the white paint and put on my lashes. I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. I'm going to make it more pointed here. Let's 
start off with the tongue. So the tongue, I'm going to take this burgundy looking shade, the one I was mixing with the black for the things going around. And I'm going to color the tongue this color. So the tongue will start here. take yellow white and brown and I am mixing it all together and I'm going to use that for the teeth and if you see I'm extending it because I want to be a little messy because his teeth are not perfect they're all different sizes they're sharp they're ugly no. going back with the black I'm just blending that setting them with setting powder to make this part smaller i'm actually just adding some black on my shoulder really thin line of brush i'm going to take the silver the white and a tiny bit of blue for um how can you say it for the saliva and the reason i'm mixing that is because the silver is a little shimmery and you know wet on um, the white and then a little bit of blue just to like just to like make the color a little darker for our teeth you want to lightly go down nothing crazy just lightly connecting you know when someone's mouth opens and the is the it's all stretching out so you want to add some that goes all the way up and make sure you put some over the teeth so the teeth can have some saliva too